What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Mastering Manum and today we're going to be going over the structure of our animation as well as different rendering settings you can use as well as some basic shapes and fairly basic animation. Between the last video what I did, all I did in between was I just created a shortcut to my desktop for both the Manum folder as well as the output folder so I can just open this up and I got my videos which is currently empty. You don't have to do this, but I find this helpful so I don't have to constantly click through local C. And I just deleted a couple of the Git files, which are more important to Git. And this is where I like to put my projects, but you can create a folder and name it whatever you want. And yeah, I also highly recommend that if you're learning Python on your own, to go to this from 3 blue one brown folder and just check out his videos. Let's say, he, he has pretty much all of his major videos on file here. Say we can open up some Essence of Linear Algebra into our text editor. And I would also recommend to go through these uh, Python files just to see how things are structured. And then also maybe custom render them out yourself. All right, so the next step what we're gonna do is create pretty much Hello World. And if you go through any of these Python files that Grant has, then you'll see that a lot of them, a lot of them are just made up of classes for like different sections that he wants. And they have some parameter like scene, there's teacher student scene, that's probably for the pie creatures. And I'm pretty sure he has like a linear algebra scene. Also have a constructor with a self parameter. And what self means is just referring to the object self. So self referring to itself. Like as you can see here, here they're just self.add, they're adding some object named stock prices to the edge. And yeah, so first thing we want to do is import our manum library from manum lib. Can I spell today? Dot imports import star, which means import everything. And then we're, I'm just gonna create a class called hello world. And then we're gonna call this as a scene parameter. And what this parameter does is just tell you different, what like the style of it. So there's like different types of scenes. There's like graphing and there's 3D scenes, linear algebra scenes. And apparently Grant has teacher student scenes, but you could honestly create your own versions of the scenes because this is a class. Like what we could do is create a class hello world 2 and have this be a hello world class. And then yeah, we could do that as well. But for our purposes, we're also going to define a constructor of self. And then if we want to add hello world, it's usually done using text. So I'm going to create a, I'm going to create a text. I'm going to create text T equals text manum object. And we're simply just going to type in hello world. You can also um, add in the, add in the single quotes if you want, but yeah. Is that, is that an error? But okay. And then if we want to add this, we can just say self.add t. And what this does is sorry, this is not this is not c. So so if you want to add this to the screen, you just do self.add and we'll see what this does. This pretty much just, you know, adds it to the scene. Does nothing more. And oh, and if you want to uh, be able to view this. I would also recommend typing self dot wait because what this does is it, is it just pretty much pauses the animation for a second. So without the wait, what it would do is just have hello world pop up for like a frame, but the wait just makes sure that it pops up for a second. And you'll see what I mean. So what we do is we go to our manum master we go to our manum master folder and then type in cmd for command line prompt. And then if we wanna actually render this thing out, what we do is we type in Python 
dash m manum. So we're going to this manum folder, and then we're going to go to uh, projects backslash. So the projects folder. That's what the backslash means. Open up that folder. And we're going to type in hello world dot pi. Let's react activating or accessing this hello this Python file. And then I'm just going to type in hello world. And then if we want to preview it, you can type in dash pl. But yeah, so this is our Python file. This is our hello world file. But it's not really, it's honestly nothing really that interesting. It's just static text. So let's make this something more, let's make this something interesting by changing this weight changing this add function to a self.play. And when we do self.play, what we're doing is we're pretty much um, going to animate something. That's just what the play means. And then I'm just going to encapsulate, enclose this right with a, not encapsulate, enclose this, our T text with a right. And what this does is it pretty much just does the like hand write, written animation. Like you'll see in a second. The self.play also has a uh, second parameter you can add, which is runtime equals, and then you can add a certain number of seconds. So let's say by default it's one second. So let's say let's do it for four seconds. We want to make this a little bit longer. So in our CMD folder, you can just type in your um, up arrow, press enter, and render it again. And then you get hello world. Now, now there is also different types of rendering um, sequences. I'm gonna put in the description below all the different rendering uh, types. But what I mean by type is, if, let's say instead of a video, you wanted just a picture. Let's say for a YouTube thumbnail. So instead of dash pl, you would just type in dash s, and it uh, outputs the screenshot of the. It outputs like a screenshot of the last frame, and this is gonna be in your also in your media folder. And instead of the video, it's gonna be in images. So there we go. We have a 1440p image here. I wanna render out this picture. So the PL that we typed in earlier just means preview large. But if you wanna actually render it out, the full file, like say for YouTube, then you would just get rid of the PL. You type enter. You wait for it to render, and this renders the full uh, the full file. It says file ready, so we can go to our output output, and there we go. We have a fourteen forty p sixty fps uh, folder, and that looks this looks very nice. This looks more of the quality you're used to from three blue and brown. And the difference is the preview L just m means previewing it. So if I wanna make some slight changes just to see how those changes work, then I would type in preview. All right. And for the last part of the video, what we're gonna be doing is creating shapes. So uh, I'm gonna import NumPy just because we need to use it to create the vertices of some shapes, but yeah, so we created text that pops up on the screen. Let's see if we can do something more fancy. So I'm gonna create a circle equals circle. That's really all there is to it. Square equals, you know, square. And you can look up how, um, which properties to set up to, for these to set. In the next video, we're gonna be focusing more on color and position, so, and scale, that, that'll have to do with that. But for now, I'm just gonna create some shapes. I'm gonna create a line. And this is where NumPy comes in. So for the vertices of this line, you do numpy.array. And what this does is pretty much just creates like a list of coordinates. And we use this because Python by default doesn't come with arrays. So, and when you use arrays for uh, vertices, you have to input three coordinates. So let's say we'll do four, zero, zero. 
And what this means is it just refers to the X, the Y, and the Z. And for some reason, you always have to include three, even if it's not a 3D figure, but you can create 3D shapes if you want. But that will be for another video. So we create another NumPy array. Never mind. So the line here has three, has two different um, vertices. Is going to be a start and an end. So we, I don't know. Let's do something like six zero zero. Now what this is going to do is create a line, and then let's say we want to create something else like a triangle. So the triangle is going to be a polygon. NumPy array, and we're going to be using the same format. So let's start with the origin, and then the next vert vertice is going to go, um, hmm. let's say one comma one. So it's x one y one that coordinate, and then the third coordinate or the third vertice is going to be hmm, let's. Let's go down, so negative one, negative one, zero. And then we're creating a triangle. All right, now that we created our own uh, shapes, what we're gonna be doing is we wanna add them to the screen. So we're gonna do self.play, and instead of write, we're gonna do show creation. And what this method does is pretty much just draws out the shape like you would on paper. And so first I'm going to type in the circle and then I'm going to make this runtime equals 30 seconds. And you can try adding in uh, the rest of the shapes with the, next to the circle as different method parameters. But for some reason, this version only allows you to do one object when show creation. So unfortunately, we are going to have to just copy or paste. Bear with me. And then the last one is going to be our triangle. And then let's make this, I don't know, one second, two seconds, four seconds. And so we press the up arrow on CMD, press enter, and the file should be rendered. So first it writes hello world, this is a preview, and then it should draw our circle show creation, and then draw our, line, our uh, box, our rectangle, then our line, and then our triangle. All right, well, that's pretty much it for the video. See you next time.